If you use Ableton, I'm sure that you are familiar with automations, but do you know what modulation is? Modulation is right next to the automation, and they're basically the same thing except modulation has a smaller range, which is relative to the current position of the parameter. Let me show you. If we add modulation to, for example, the frequency of a filter, not only does modulation stay active when we move the parameter, unlike automations which deactivate, the modulation doesn't. We can change the parameter to change the range of the modulation. So this is a great way to try different options, different parameters and different ranges without having to be modifying existing automations, deactivating them by mistake, etc. And now, on top of all of this, we can still automate the parameter while we have modulation. Yes, it's a little bit confusing. What we can automate is basically changing the range. So for example, if we have an aggressive modulation of the frequency from the filter that looks like this, we can then add an automation of that same parameter that goes, for example, from 0 to 100. And we get this result. The parameter is being modulated and automated. Does this make sense? What does make sense is that if you go to samplefocus.com, you're gonna find incredible samples that you can get for free.